if if I was playing you Mars and you said fucking idiot to me after you spiked my peach you off of Nair confirm one I'm gonna be pissed cuz you hit that two oh yeah I'm a fucking idiot well I'm gonna try to make you my bitch now what's up and I'm going to talk shit back and we're gonna finish the set and I'm gonna be like yo good games win or loss and we're just gonna move on with our day because at the end of the day as a competitor you know sometimes you're gonna talk shit you're gonna say stuff and it's totally okay it's not meant to be something personal you know what i mean nah i'm not i'm not trying to hear none of that bullshit bro like i saw this and i was like i gotta post i i normally ever feel like posting on fucking stupid smash shit but this this one takes the cake bro because for years I've been seeing people talk about how we need villains, how we need rivalries. Well, guess what? When these things pop up, you niggas start crying. So what do you really want? That That's what I'm curious about. What do you actually want? Because you can make fake beef if you want. But when fake beef is created, people smell that shit a mile away. And that's just corny. So when actual, and this isn't even beef. This is just like casual shit talk in a competitive environment. Guys, we we can't do this. We're better than this. We have to be better. Like, bro, are you kidding me, bro? I feel like I'm watching Dora the Explorer. Good? You good, bro? Well, sis, technically. What happened was colonies and Mars fought in the what was it the last chance qualifier right yeah and so uh Ma my bad so anyway man's hey man yo she's just sneaking them in <laughs> she's just sneaking them in anyway so man's wanted a lag check you know because apparently the connection was spotty i ain't really gonna get into that because to me that's not what matters really matters are the words that were exchanged during said battle so let me understand something right i'm gonna play the clip i want you guys to hear this and i want your opinion on if this is like the end of the world you know what i mean let me full screen this idiot what what did he say hold on hold let's let's hear that shit again idiot Wow. He's a fucking idiot. Fuck, I'm offended. Matter of fact, I'm offended for you, colonies. I I'm offended for you. Fuck, what fuck how you feel. I'm offended for you. Let me tell you why my feelings on it matter more than yours being the person that was getting insulted. Now, I want to start by saying, first off, I think neither of these guys are wrong. Honestly, I don't think Mars did anything bad. All he said was fucking idiot after he killed them. Have you guys ever been in the heat of a competitive match or even just playing online in Elite Smash and you kill someone and you say something like, you fucking suck. Damn your ass. That's what the fuck I thought, bitch. Have you? Because I feel like a lot of us have done that, whether you may realize it or not. So what makes this any different? In the heat of an important match, you take someone's stock and you talk a little shit. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I genuinely don't think Mars did anything wrong. But what's weird to me, what's very strange to me, is that Colonies is supposed to not be allowed to feel any way about it. That doesn't make sense to me, right? Because honestly, right? I know this is Smash, so I know it's about Teletubbies, Crayons, and Cabbage Patch Kids, and all that good shit, right? I, I get it. I know how it works. We want beef, but when it actually happens, we, we cry about it. You know what I mean? So, Colonies, obviously, is like, damn, I heard that. Oh, you called me a fucking idiot? Bet. I'm going to match your energy. So, fuck online. I'm going to see you offline, and when we play, make sure you keep that same energy online. This sets up for a more exciting match than what we would have gotten had none of these guys said anything. They just kept quiet. You know, man, good games. You're a great player. You know what, man? Good games. You're a great player, too. I hope to be in the top 10 one day just like you are. Like, I, I guess that's what niggas really want. 
Do you do you like hear how dry that sounds? Do you hear how fake and ass that sounds? What the fuck is that? I don't understand why people can't talk shit. What is the problem? We're the same community that we're bi what we were bitching about cheering at one point. Like, bruh, <laughs> it's fucking whack, dog. So anyway, Colonies is like, yo, just keep that same energy offline. That's all I ask. Nigga's like, I'm not actually offended. I think Mars is a cool dude. I just also think he has a massive ego and I hope I get a chance to crush that at some point. And the beautiful thing about that is, if Mars truly does have an ego, it makes playing him a much more rewarding experience because if you beat him, you can personally check that ego. You know what I'm saying? And if Mars wins, he can talk his shit because he also has the skill to back it up. Like, like you feel me on that? So what the fuck is the problem? What's the problem, Light G? She doesn't even see the problem. You feel me? Because there is no problem. Now, what sucks is that, you know, and this isn't Mars' fault, but since Colonies bit back at Mars, you got niggas that don't even know Mars personally defending him to the grave. Like, mans don't even know you. And you willing to actually just try to cut down colonies because he he fucking snapped back at someone calling him a fucking idiot mid-match. And you know he didn't even take it seriously because if you've been doing this long enough, you already know in the heat of the moment in a match, you're probably going to say something. You're probably going to say how you feel. If you're getting camped out and zoned out by a min min for eight minutes, your opponent is probably, you're probably saying a lot of shit in your head but you're not saying it out loud. Some people will say it out loud. Does that make them suck? No, it doesn't. That shit makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no shit, like no sense at all. You go to the replies, you got people like really sitting here trying to fucking jump on colonies. Like get the fuck out of here, bro. Nah, I'm not, I'm not trying to hear none of that bullshit, bro. Like I saw this and I was like, I gotta post. I, I normally ever feel like posting on fucking stupid smash shit, but this this one takes the cake, bro. Because for years I've been seeing people talk about how we need villains, how we need rivalries. Well, guess what? When these things pop up, you niggas start crying. So what do you really want? That That's what I'm curious about. What do you actually want? Because you can make fake beef if you want, but when fake beef is created, people smell that shit a mile away. And that's just corny. So when actual, and this isn't even beef, this is just like casual shit talk in a competitive environment. Guys, we, we can't do this. We're better than this. We have to be better. Like, bro, are you kidding me, bro? I feel like I'm watching Dora the Explorer. Real rap. I love the energy from both sides. Shows these guys actually like really care. I like passion. And passion is in the, uh, the form of shit talk. I like it. And like I'm saying here, like they beg for villains and rivalries, but cry when it happens or try to impose fake beef. Teletubbies and crayons everywhere, man. <laughs> oh man, I live for this FGC energy. Like people want Smash to be this big ass esport or, you know, be actually considered a part of the FGC for so long, but y'all wouldn't last a day in the actual FGC. I don't think these guys will last a day at a Street Fighter tournament. Like an actual Street Fighter <laughs> event. Like, dead ass. And if you remember, like, Leffen versus Salem, do you guys remember how big the SmashCon venue was for that match? That wasn't a top eight match or anything. That was literally just a bracket match. Do you remember how crowded, how crowded it was just to see that match? <laughs> But hey man, if they weren't shit talking and they went way harder than what the fuck this is. They went way harder. I don't give a fuck if times have changed, man. You you know this, man. I'm still gonna talk. I don't care. I, I don't care. Like, that was a beef. Like an actual beef. 
much harsher words and the quantity of them were exchanged. But you know, people were cool with that. I wonder why. But uh, Mars says fucking idiot and Colonies claps back and both of these guys are just public enemy number one. It's dumb as fuck. No consistency in this community whatsoever on anything ever. I think if Mars KO'd literally anyone at 30, he would have said the same thing. I don't think Colin took it personal at all. I don't. Dude, if I'm playing, dude, if I'm playing someone and whether they're like trying to personally insult me or they just say something casually like that, my, oh, I was about to say something. <laughs> Let's just say my petty side is going to come out. Oh yeah, you're talking shit? Bet. I'm going to talk shit too. What's good? So yeah, I don't think Colin took it personal. I don't think he capitalized on it. Yeah, you know what I was going to say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just think he's like, oh, okay, bet. You talking shit? Well, great. I'll catch you offline. I think I've known Colin long enough where I, I could tell if he was actually super upset at something. Like, this shit was ruining his day or ruining his week. But see, that's a difference when you know someone and you don't know someone. I at least know Colin to a degree. Most of these motherfuckers don't know Mars. So you don't even know what he meant by what he said or how he said it. You're just a fan. That's why this shit is so stupid. But it's all it's always like it's always it always has to be something that's like this that has to go all the way to the sky. Sky high for no fucking reason. Always. Always. Just just seems like another zero suit Samus stock at 30. I can agree with that. Looked like it to me. Great conversion, by the way. We are online, but hey, he still got it. Absolutely not, Strides. It don't matter how good a motherfucker is at hitting a button. You never let anybody talk to you any kind of way. Doesn't matter. Ever. Don't give a fuck who it is. Don't under, don't care about their legacy. How long they've been doing what they do. I don't give a fuck if it's the top TO in your region. If someone comes at you a certain way, you match that energy. The fuck you supposed to do? Bend the knee? Yeah, okay. But you have to remember where we are. You know what I mean? You have to remember where we are and why things are the way they are. And of course, when it gets onto Twitter, you already know that, uh, white, it's a wrap. <laughs> People don't really understand shit talk, but they want it. And then when it happens, they cry. Right, Lychee? I wouldn't even call it drama. I call it stupidity. It's not drama to me. It's stupidity. Stupidity and hypocrisy. And I don't think either of them are wrong. Like, real rap. I don't think either of them are wrong. It's so stupid that Mars didn't even acknowledge it. I mean, what else does he have to say? Hypocrisy from the scene to want beef, beef happens, cry about it. Hypocrisy. And what part of Mars not even acknowledging it is like, what's the big deal about that? I don't understand that. I mean, hypocrisy plays a pretty consistent role. So here, so I mean, meh. But does Mars really have to tweet about it? Like, is what he's supposed to say? Sorry, Colin. If he really meant what he said in that moment, I feel like he doesn't have to apologize. Colin said what he said. Mars definitely saw it. They handle it offline. Or, not everything needs to be spoken about publicly in Twitter. Because there's a nice function called DM where you can have an individual conversation with someone if you guys are having problems. And if Mars felt like he needed to apologize, you just message him directly. Same way, if Colin really did get offended by that, could have just messaged Mars directly and talked it out with him. Which leads me to also really believe that he wasn't genuinely in his feelings about it. Rather, you put this energy out publicly? Let me put this energy out publicly that way, when we meet in bracket, everybody knows what's going to go down. I don't think everything needs to be a public spectacle. 
but it also seems pretty consistent in this community, so, uh, yeah, and I wonder why. I mean, I know why, but wonder why. Entitled to see everything and entitled to give their opinion on things that don't even involve them whatsoever. But since I see a lot of people bashing both of these guys, I'm gonna talk about it. Because neither of them did anything wrong. And to be honest, I more so see people bashing Colin than uh, Mars. I know, Strides, I think it's a mixture of motherfuckers are bored out of their mind and have lost sense of reality. So to, th to them, this is what reality actually is. Because for all the drama, drama, to do this, of course, for all of that that you see now online and on Twitter, how much of that do you think would actually happen face to face? To be honest, like, come on, you've been, been here as long as me. You've been here since bro. How much of that do you actually think actually would happen offline? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How much do you think this would happen offline? None at all. People think emotion in competitive games are taboo too. Eh, well, it really depends on the competitive game. In other esports, you know, emotion is welcome. In our esport, we cry over putting the camera on someone after they just lost a match, especially if they show stress or emotion. So I think most other esports got it down correctly, whereas we, again, I feel like watching Dora the Explorer. Or Nick Jr. rather. Because to people, Twitter is real life. Like, this is, this is peak real life. And you can only be as important as how many followers you have and if you have a blue check mark. I swear to God, I think that's how people operate. I saw your tweets, I hear I am. I don't know why people are... Mars, you missed the whole thing, bruh! Ah, oh, fuck, you missed the whole thing. I basically said neither of you mother... Oh, fuck. Oh, thank you. I basically said, I don't think either of you are wrong. You said, <laughs> I don't think either of you are wrong. Situation doesn't make sense. Because it's barely even a situation. You motherfuckers want it to be a situation. Yeah, I'm done. You yeah. motherfuckers want it to be a situation. Not you and Colin, but everybody else that has nothing to do with it. It's it's not, it's really like, it's not a big deal, you know? If, if I was playing you, Mars, and you said fucking idiot to me after you spiked my peach you off of a Nair confirm, one, I'm gonna be pissed because you hit that. Two, oh yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Well, I'm gonna try to make you my bitch now. What's up? And I'm going to talk shit back. And we're gonna finish the set. And I'm gonna be like, yo, good games, win or loss. And we're just gonna move on with our day. Because at the end of the day, as a competitor, you know, sometimes you're gonna talk shit. You're gonna say stuff. And it's totally okay. It's not meant to be something personal. You know what I mean? If that's exactly what you would expect, Twitter people are just bots, ZZZ. I'm glad we're on the same page. So that's why I'm like, damn, Mars is getting heat. That sucks. Colonies is getting actual heat. What the fuck is this? And I can understand, you know, if you have fans, your fans are going to defend you to the grave. But at the same time, it's like, guys, are you actually attacking a dude because he's snapping back at someone for saying something? Cornball energy. You want rivalries. You want beef. But when it happens, you all cry about it. So, how do you, like, what What do you want at the end of the day? Should I just throw on Teletubbies and let you watch that? I Like, you, who, how can you satisfy? I don't even think of it as a clap back. Literally just looked like he was trying to make good content. And even, if, if he was, I still don't even see what he put out as a big deal. That vid he's making probably gonna do well. Yeah. I think, I also think it sets up for if you guys do play offline, it makes it way more interesting than it would have been before. Like, honestly, if y'all just played that set, you didn't say anything. Good games, man. Yeah, good games, dog. Your young Link is actually pretty decent. Well, you know, man, hope to see you in the top 10 one day. I'll be like, 
fucking slumped. Sleep. But, because you just uttered, fucking idiot, I'm like, I'm kind of invested. I like this. Call that motherfucker yeah. a fucking idiot. Let's see if he gets it again. And then Colin, not lame, says something back. Look forward to seeing you guys play offline. It's the same thing in the light match. When I play light online. I, wa I re-watched his version of what happened. And I was like, oh, he said this? He said this? I talked my shit back live on my stream. And guess what I'm going to do when I see light offline? What's cool? What's, what's, what's good, bro? It's not a big deal, but you know, Smash Twitter got to make anything as big of a deal as it possibly can. <laughs> but hey, thanks for coming in here and confirming practically everything I thought. Just keep talking shit while you play. Oh my God. We don't have enough of that in this scene because everybody wants everybody to be fucking... What's the word? Holy. Let's put it that way. So please keep talking shit. I live for it. But yeah, guys, that's that's my honest opinion on the uh, the Mars vs. Colonies thing. I don't even want to call it a situation because it's just people being hypocrites. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Really appreciate it. What's good, guys? I want to thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. But also be sure to hit the notification bell and select all to be notified as soon as I drop a video for you guys. Very, very important detail. Don't miss out on that. Again, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. Helps the channel a long way.